Okay, grade nine. So um, let's move on and talk about the extension part of the assignment. So I'm back with my bucket. Uh, we started with a simple surface area, uh, the rectangle plus the circle. And then we just bought some gold plate as an area and put it on the outside, no drama. Guess what? You don't actually buy gold by the square metre or the square centimetre. You don't buy gold by volume either. You buy gold by weight. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the volume if we want a gold plate. This gold plate means I'm going to build a thickness on the outside. So for starters, we're not just going to gold plate the outside and the bottom. We're doing the whole lot. So you've got to start, but you've also got an inside bit to gold plate, an inside bottom bit, and also a rim around the outside. So get yourself a nice big thick uh, coffee mug, and you can see that there's an annulus, there's a, there's a rim around the outside of your cup that you're going to need to gold plate. So gold plate got it, gold plate bottom, gold plate outside. Gold plate inside. The inside is a different rectangle to the outside because there's a different radius for it. So you've got to think about that. And clearly there's an annulus on top and then there's a bottom on the inside. All that you need to calculate. So instead of just having one rectangle and one circle to add your areas together, you've got lots of different things to calculate and you've got to be accurate. You've got to be as accurate as you can. Um, in the assignment, it tells you how thick this aluminium is for your annulus and your two different radiuses. Radii, I should say. Anyway, so you've got multiple areas, but you're still going to get a total surface area that you are going to put gold on. So the concept is you find the surface area and you're going to multiply by the, so if that's the area, you're going to build the gold up that way. And that thickness is 70, 70 microns. What 70 microns? I don't know, it doesn't matter. You've got Google. Um, so just Google the conversion factor, communicate that in your assignment, and we're sweet. You don't, it's not in a test, you're allowed to use Google to find these things out. So all of a sudden we've got all of these shapes and you've built a thickness of gold on top of it so the volume will be the area of the base which is all of these different shapes put together multiplied by the height that height is the 70 microns and that's going to get you a volume uh, as I said before, you don't go into a shop and go, hey, can I have half a litre of gold, please? You don't buy gold by the litre, you buy it by the kilogram. Uh, let's say gram, actually. Um, so, we've got this rule. Density equals mass on volume. D equals M on V. M is mass. Mass is how you buy it. Mass is kilograms. V is volume, D is density. In the assignment, it gives you the density. And you just calculated your volume here. Let's just say it's 5. You're then going to get mass equals, using some algebra, show me you're working, and then calculate, if it's that mass, how much is the goal going to cost you? Um, pay attention when you're thinking about these things because you're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses. So, if you look closely, there are issues with, with gold plating, um, the way we're talking about. We're talking about getting, a different, getting our square rectangular surface area, plating it thick so it's got a thickness of gold, and then wrapping it around, there's lots of issues with that cause if you look very carefully. Um, so we need to have a, a few sessions on, on strengths and weaknesses and what's good about your calculations, what's bad about your calculations, 
clearly you've got to start with your calculations and then think about, hmm, are they as accurate as they could be? What are my issues? What's... You're going to be Ant-Man trying to walk around there and think, what are the issues with gold plating this thing? In your assignment, you're going to have diagrams, you're going to have uh, words analysis, and you're going to have maths. Um, okay. Finally, once you've got that nailed, Hopefully you work out that there are some issues with that and you might go, I wonder if there's another way of calculating the volume. So get in early, get this thing done and then start thinking about an alternative method for calculating the volume of gold that would be required to gold plate this cup. Um, and that's a problem solving exercise. And if you can work that out and do your calculations then you might be able to compare them with these calculations and work out which way is better, which way is more accurate, which way you would like to do. Um, even, the, even that last A-level uh, concept has got strengths and limitations. Nothing is perfect. Anyway, so I hope you see that we've got to get some maths done and we've got to give our brain some time to think about strengths and weaknesses. So get into the assignment quick, get some maths done and start thinking.